Hey guys welcome back. So today in this video I am going to give you a review on Resurrection Remix OS that's available officially for Redmi Y2. So going to the about phone section. Here as you can see Android version is 10 and Remix OS version is 8.5.8. .8. It's an official build with August security patch. This build comes with 4.9 kernel built in. Going back. All the basic functionalities like calling mobile data and hotspot are working. Now let us try and connect a call. As you can see, call just connected. Now going back to settings. Going to battery. Speaking about battery performance, battery on this ROM is quite average but the amount of customization is literally insane and now let me show you all the customization available on this ROM. So going to resurrection tools, here you get all the customization options. Under status bar, going to clock and date, once you enable clock on status bar, you can change its position to left, right or center. You can also change AM PM style to see small, normal or just don't want to see. You can even include seconds on status bar. Now scrolling down, you get an option to change font. If you change font, like evolve, as you can see the font is changed. I'll just change it back. Under date customization, you can change date style to normal, lower case or upper case. You can change date position to left of time or right of time according to your requirement. You also get an option to change date and time format. These are the formats available. Going back, going to network and traffic, by default this will be disabled. You'll need to enable it on status bar and now you can see download and upload speeds. If you enable this auto hide whenever internet is not being used, speed will be hidden. So now as you can see internet is being used so it's showing. Scrolling down you also can change its font. If you don't like arrows you can just disable it as it doesn't look good. So by default here as you can see it doesn't look good with arrows. So I just turned it off. Now going back, going to battery, under battery indicator you get battery style option to solid, dotted circle, circle, icon portrait and hidden. You also can enable or disable battery percentage. Going back, going to battery bar, here under battery bar you can enable it and change its location to status bar top, status bar bottom, navigation bar top, navigation bar bottom, QS header or lock screen bottom area. Now scrolling down, here you can also change battery bar colors according to your requirement. Coming down, here you get an option to change battery bar thickness. If you want to increase it, you can increase it till 4 dB. So this is the thickest battery bar that you can get on this ROM. If you change these colors, these will be affected. So it's up to you which color you want to use. Going back, going to logo, here you can enable logo on status bar. It's up to you whether you like it or not, but every ROM provides you. Going to system icons, here you get an option to display voltage icon when available and also to hide volta icon when wo Wi-Fi is available. Here you can also change volta icon to volta icon 1, 2, 3 to 6. You also get an option to show 4G icon instead of LTE. Going to career label. Here you can change career label location according to your requirement and set it. Going back. Going to status bar and weather. You can enable weather if you use. Going to status bar gestures, you get you get general double tap to sleep and you can adjust brightness by sliding across status bar. 
Now go into status bar tuner. Here you can enable or disable the icons that you want to see on your status bar. Now go into panels, quick settings. Go into QS rows and column. Here you can change tiles rows on portrait and tiles columns on portrait. You also get an option to change it in landscape mode. Now I have changed the value to 4 into 5. So now when I bring the notification panel, it is 4 into 5. So it covers full screen and you get a one UI like experience. It's up to you whether you want a long notification panel or not. You get general quick pull down option. You get vibrate on touch. Here you also get an option to enable or disable text under notification tiles. So now as you can see it does not have any titles. Now scrolling down you also get background blur effect which you can completely turn off if you don't like. Going to QS style animation. These are animations that are provided on this ROM and I liked it. By default this will be set in no animation and this to default. This one to linear. So firstly go into QS style animation. You can change it to flip and this one fast. Now if you turn on any of the options, as you can see you get a cool animation. You can also change this and you get a better look. Here you also get an option to replace clear all text with a new button. It's basically oxygen OS button which is very useful. Now scrolling down, here you get an option to see CPU info. You can see CPU temperature, battery temperature, GPU frequency and GPU utilization. I have enabled CPU temperature. So now here as you can see my CPU temperature is 34 degrees. Now scrolling down, going to tint tiles, you can change it to accent or RGB. So now I have set it to RGB and you are able to see RGB. It chooses random colors in random time. Now scrolling down, going to clock, you can enable QS clock. Once you enable it, you get an option to change its size, color and font. So customizing it, as you can see, I have changed the clock something like this. You can enable battery percentage, battery location and you can change battery styles. You can also change brightness slider position to bottom, top, height, QS top or QS bottom. Coming down, you can also enable QS footer text like according to your requirement. Now it's remix OS. So it says here resurrection remix. It works. Going back, going to system. Going to header. Going to transparent header, if you enable transparent header, the header looks something like this. If you just disable it, that becomes black. If you enable gradient view, you get a cleaner experience. If you disable it, you'll get a black patch like thing which I don't like. You can enable or disable custom images like a header icon. Going to volume panel, here you get an option to show volume panel on left. Scrolling down, by default you can show Bluetooth, show ringer, voice, alarm and ring. So if you enable all of them together, the volume panel looks something like this. Don't make it messy, so I'll just turn it off. Going back, go into system, go into action picker. Here you can change your accent color and you can reset if you have messed with it. Going back, going to button and navigation. Going to system navigation, you get the basic functionalities of gesture navigation, two button navigation and three button navigation. Now going to arrow keys, you get an option to enable or disable arrow keys when you go back. Actually it's a minor bug. It this will be fixed in the upcoming updates. Scrolling down, 
Here you get an option called screen of torch. If you long press on the power button when you are in lock screen, torch will be turned on. Now going back, if you are on a call, here you get an option to end the call by pressing power button. You get option to swap keys when your phone is rotated. You can also answer call by pressing volume keys. Rolling down, here you get some gestures to enable. Here you can change long swipe timeout. Now here you get an option called long swipe type. Now you can also change the timeout of this long swipe and you can change the action that you want to perform when long screen. And you can also change the action that you want to perform. So if I hold long swipe, now as you can see notification panel is coming. You can just turn it off if you don't like it. Coming down here you get an option called haptic feedback that's good. Go into power dialog, here you get an option to add filter type when power button is on. Now I have set it to blur. So if I bring the power menu, now as you can see the background is blurred. Now go into power menu animation, you can change it to any of them like slide. I have set it to slide, so it looks something like this. Scrolling down, here you get all the traditional options to enable or disable power tiles in lock screen. Going back, Going to parts, here you get lock screen weather, system profile, charging sounds. Going to charging sounds, you can enable it or disable it. You can also enable vibrate when charging is on. Going back, going to smart pixels, this is a special feature which I liked. So if your battery is draining and you want to save it, you can enable smart pixels. Basically when you enable smart pixel, it will turn off some pixels so that it can save battery. If you enable it, you can also change the amount of pixels that you want to turn it off. Going to vibrations, you can enable in-call vibration. You get an option called in-call vibration, notification vibration, touch vibration and vibrate on pulling down. You also have an option to vibrate for calls. You can change the rhythm of vibration. Going to battery optimization, you have aggressive battery, aggressive standby and other options. If you want to enable them, you will need to turn it off and you can change these options. You can also block sensors when they are not in use. Going back, going to animations, you get screen of animation like simple fade, CRT and scale down. Currently I am using scale. So when you lock, the animation looks something like this. So now going to interface, here you get fingerprint settings wherein you can change fingerprint vibration options. Going to lock screen, here you get charging animation, you can change it to flash, battery, drop or just disable, you get many options. You can also get battery info when you are charging. Scrolling down, you can hide the entire status bar on lock screen. You also get double tap to sleep. You also get to enable quick settings from the lock screen and you get music visualizer. Once you enable this, if you play any music, here you will get some effects that are cool. Go into edge lighting. You get basic edge lighting and you can change it to faded or solid. Go into color. You can change it to wallpaper, accent, custom, blend, random or random on both sides. Going back, going to heads up, once you enable this option, you will get notification whenever your screen is off. Going to dashboard, here you get an option to enable one UI. This will basically create a one UI like experience for you. Going back, going to display size, you can change display size according to your requirement. You get gaming mode and gaming in this ROM is quite good. Going to miscellaneous, you get all the general apps like hide replies, hide quick replies and you also get screenshot type. You can change screenshot type to take full screenshot or you can drag screenshot to area which you want. Scrolling down, you also get three finger gesture like once you enable it, 
you can take a screenshot like this scrolling down you can enable or disable rotation button you also get an option called pixel charging animation which once you enable will give a pixel feel going back going to miscellaneous here you don't get any interesting features now going back going to security here you get fingerprint scanner face unlock and general options like pin password and all animation provided in every area is cool going to battery even here you get an animation going to wi-fi even here you get animation even under privacy you get an animations so going back if you want to install this rom on your device you will just need to download a file that i link in the description and you will need to download gapps file once you have downloaded both of them reboot to recovery once you are there go to wipe and wipe dalvik cache system and data once done go back and click on install now make sure you navigate to the file that you downloaded once you have flashed the custom rom file flash gapp once done reboot you will be rebooted into resurrection remix os now here go into settings here you get pixel experience rom and there are minimal settings go into styles and wallpapers go into grid you can change your grid to 3 into 3 4 into 5 5 into 5 and 5 into 6 go into clock you get many clock options now i have set this clock type center go into style you get basic styles you can also create one custom style with your own font you can also change your own icons so now as you can see you can modify it so if you enjoyed the video do like share and subscribe for more updates